Hey, yo, shout out to King Vaughn, and I respect King Vaughn a lot. Rest in peace to Vaughn, but can we be true? When King Vaughn died, I know there's a culture shift. I don't pick no sides, and y'all know that. Rest in peace to all the guys that died. I don't think nobody deserved to die, and y'all know the rest. When King Vaughn died, I noticed more people were sad with Vaughn than FBG Duck dying. No disrespect to Vaughn, Vaughn was nowhere near close to what FBG Duck was doing for the movement. And I'm not making y'all pick sides either, but y'all, even the people who like Vaughn more than Duck, y'all know that I ain't capping. Duck was the face of the entire movement. He, he really was. All this time that just went by, you see what the game missing now? No disrespect to Vaughn, Duck was that nigga, but what I'm saying and bringing up is the fact that the criticisms. How come all you so-called patrol police in the chat rooms and comment sections, what was this energy when niggas was disrespecting Duck's name and still disrespecting his name now? You niggas didn't say anything about that. What was you niggas telling Vaughn and them to leave Duck alone? When Duck died, even Vaughn's sister kept violating that man's name. Vaughn and all the guys, look, I, I know they're in their rights to do X, Y, and Z. I'm not out here to be a moral police like you niggas do. I'm not out here to say Vaughn is wrong. And, that ain't what I'm doing. I'm just showing you to the people who are criticizing Vaughn, I never say nothing to them. I fall back. I seen what people were saying when Duck died. And y'all just want me to erase all of that. So now why I'm bringing that up, because I did a video saying that Lil Tim and them, I wish Pop Smoke had a friend like Lil Tim. Niggas is mad at me. I wish King Von had a friend like Lil Tim. Because the real shit is, if Von had a friend like Lil Tim, he might still be here today. <laughs> we ain't going to get into that. Go to my playlist and watch that video I did. Big facts. You niggas can get mad at me, but niggas feel me. On oh, me, on oh, my mama, bro. I wish I had a homie that's laying niggas down. To do some damage on me and niggas will look out for me and lay your ass down big time lay your head on my pillow gang fuck you mean bruh now i'm supposed to be criticized by i didn't criticize vaughn i told the truth i would like to have a friend like Lil tim and you niggas is trying to criticize certain people where was that energy i didn't see none of you niggas tell vaughn yo vaughn chill you you the future right now you the hottest nigga right now Leave that shit alone, gang. Quit with the mocking. His mama got to watch all that. Where was this shit? Now all you people speak highly and all. Nigga, it's fake. Nigga, it's fake. If you niggas love King Vaughn, you would have been thinking about that man life the whole time. Hey, Vaughn, watch how you moving out here, bro. You the hottest rapper, bro. Like I'm saying right now, again, stick to the mission, bro. But the beat... Vaughn lost his life trying to look cool for you niggas. And I'm, I'm going to say it, bro. He didn't have to go there trying to fight Kwando. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. At the end of the day, why even try to fight Kwando? I know a little bit words was exchanged. But you know if you went to go fighting with a regular street nigga, every real street nigga know if you go try to fight a man one-on-one, -on -one, especially if y'all ain't homies like that, you know a burn about to be pulled out or you might get poked. Niggas know this already, bro. I'm like, what niggas just becoming Mayweather? I ain't Floor Mayweather. I don't know none of you niggas. If I'm in a mall somewhere and you niggas don't like me, you just trying to catch me lacking or whatever. My mind is I need to survive to take care of my kids. I, I didn't know I signed up for a charity boxing match. I'm going to blow, bro. Fuck all that, bro. I know niggas don't like me, so I don't got time to play like that. So why would you play with other niggas like that? I didn't see nobody on the blogs say that to Vaughn. You love Vaughn so much, they say the real shit. Why did Vaughn have to go do that stupid shit for? You could have just talked to the man right there. You could have recorded on IG and get your clout and views up without putting your hands on that man. Look, I don't believe no man and woman should be putting their hands on nobody. Let, let, I'm, I'm, I don't pick sides. I ain't you niggas. No man and woman should have their hands on anybody. Period. Period. And that cost Vaughn his life. I seen real Chicago niggas saying what I'm saying. I'm not disrespecting Vaughn. Vaughn lost his life for engaging in a street fight with a nigga that didn't sign up to have a street fight with you. And my line, I want all you niggas who's probably mad at what I'm saying. And did I lie yet? Did I lie yet? Nah, bro. I ain't did one lie yet, homie. This is what you get in a situation like that, bro. You get fuck shit after fuck shit. Every day I sit back, 
I sit back and I see the play. It's exacerbated one by one by one. Nah, homie. This ain't my mission and this ain't my life right now, bro. I'm coming through a time phase of I'm getting older. It was my birthday yesterday. And this is one of the birthdays where I, I always do it, bro. What did you do with your life? Vaughn is a talented young man. I can save lives right now, my nigga. Fuck your feelings, bro. Educational purpose. I know there's going to be a rapper that's going to watch this video right now and go, damn, who homie is? This nigga is, is preaching that peace, bro. Who homie is, bro? Homie got all this thing is going, bro. At the end of the day, a level of status is only meaning something if you did something and turned it into a legacy. You want your legacy to be known? A nigga that tried to fight in the streets and he lost his life behind that? I'm not about to hear arguing with Quando and them be like, Quando was wrong. Who the fuck am I to tell Quando how to defend himself? You niggas live in the movies too much. Who the fuck are we to tell Quando Rondo he needs to defend himself at all costs um, by not using all costs? How dumb is that? No, nigga. If Quando and Lil Tim and them felt that life was on the line or, or whatever, we were not the ones there that day. The camera could be portrayed as anything. We don't know what words was being said, do we? I, I need y'all to know, bruh. We don't have anybody doing that, bruh. Nobody. I see five or ten fairy tale niggas coming out the wood. They just, what we do good as a group of people, bruh, is just getting mad at each other. <laughs> That's what a nigga good for, it seems like. I, of course, I don't believe all that, but it's not seeming to make sense, bruh. You talk to nigga, why you mad at this nigga? Oh, this nigga, fuck, boy. Oh, no, boy. All right, yeah, shut the fuck up. You don't know, you just emotional, gang. And that's the truth. I get like that. That's how I know I'm right about you, bruh. Or anybody that I'm speaking on, you just emotional right now. It ain't nothing serious, gang. You'll be all right. You just in your feelings right now. We all get in our feelings. We all tend to fall victim to that, bruh. And Vaughn fell victim to it. Duck name got ransacked. Bruh, I remember when Duck died. I, I done shed a tear when Duck died. And I, I'm just looking at all these niggas tweaking. Dirk is celebrating. Man, Dirk ain't stopped dissing niggas since Duck died. You know when Dirk stopped dissing niggas? After D-Thang died. You know when Lil Dirk stopped and all the OTF members? And they still, let's be real, a lot of them ain't even stopped at all, bruh. King Von's sister still going dissing Duck. Duck ain't did shit to her and she been dissing him. Duck ain't the one killed Von because Von died after Duck died. So what's the anger towards Duck for nonstop, bruh? Leave that nigga alone. You say, oh, people talking about your brother, leave him alone, but look what you doing out here, baby girl. And I got respect for you, Kayla B, but come on, bruh. You got a whole son out here to raise. This what you teaching Vaughn's nephew? I see the way you were. That ain't the way to be a man. I don't care what. Our, our, our community's got something fucked up. Well, we teach a young boy, this is how you be a man is doing the fuck nigga shit. Bro, we, we some backwards motherfuckers, and I'm my, myself guilty too. So you... you Crime folks out here don't act like I'm belittling you or anything. Educational purpose. I'm speaking that real piff, bruh. We some messed up folks up here, bruh. Psychologically, this ain't normal what Vaughn did and he got himself killed. He did get himself killed. And a lot of the niggas who's mad at me, who was there and didn't do anything back, there's a video showing you niggas running away. Rest in peace to the guys who tried to protect Vaughn and lost their lives that day too, because people don't talk about that. Rest in peace to the guys who lost their lives that day protecting Vaughn. But all you other niggas that ran, we seen the videos. I'll let y'all watch the videos and y'all pick. I ain't going to do all that corny shit. And I'm not judging you niggas, but I ain't trying to hear that rah-rah shit. Even if you can kill me. Does that erase what I just said on the video? It's fuck shit. It ain't real shit. Niggas want me to worship them because they got bodies and shit. No. I'm afraid of you type of niggas. I'm going to keep it real. I'm so afraid of you niggas that I got to go to the range every other week to get my skills right well. I, number one, I ain't never lost my trigger finger educational purpose since I left the military. Big facts. Number two. All I do is promote is that everybody learn self-defense. And I ain't talking about karate and shit. Big facts. No, I ain't. I'm talking about this self-defense. Yeah, go learn this self-defense, gang. And even, even if you learn this, you still can fall victim to this shit. Yeah, bro. Let the FBG Doug and King Vaughn rest in peace, man. Leave them niggas alone, bro. It's corny, bro. I'm smoking this pack. I'm smoking that pack. Bro, number one, 
When FBG Duck and them started what the pack meant. They were smoking on Tuca because it meant they were keeping their brother with them. The Native Americans did that. Rastafarians do that. They take the ashes of their dead homies and they smoke it or their dead family members so it can be connect their spirit and soul could be connected with you forever. Shout out to Duck being a smart one. That's what smoking on a pack mean. But all you niggas smoking on a pack, you giving love to your ops. Do you know that? You giving love to your op when you smoking on a pack, dumbass. Smoking on the pack, yeah. I seen a 14 year old the other day arguing with me online. Nigga, you better watch it. All that shit, you, I'm gonna smoke on you. You won't be a pack next. And guess what the disagreement was? I didn't say Super Mario, um, the go kart name the right way on a fucking gaming channel. Nigga told me I'm gonna be a pack because I ain't, bro, this whole shit is fucked up, bro. Look. Y'all hit that like button, run them likes up, man. I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang.